On February 19th, the Minnesota State High School League voted to expand Minnesota's basketball tournament to four classes. Beginning next year, dramatic changes will be made to sectional tournaments across the state. This will be the final year for many tournaments that have developed their own tradition. The final year for longtime rivals to meet on the court at tournament time. Minnesota District 23A Semifinals is brought to you by Norwest Banks, Simison Marine, Hawley Merchants, Burns Ford Mercury Hawley, Clay Becker Implement Hawley, Farnham's Napa Auto Parts, Ulan Chamber of Commerce, Senex PetroServe, Eddie and Ginny's Garden Center, Peterson Paint Supply, The Forum, 
Stop and Go, DGF Area Merchants, Bolts Building Supply, Muscatel Dodge Jeep Eagle, Steve Cycle and Marine Fergus Falls, The Bridal Shop and Bridal Shop 2, Gross Studio, Minnesota Motor Company Fergus Falls, Scania Hotel, Pelican Rapids Chamber of Commerce, Northwestern State Bank, Hillcrest Academy, Hall GMC, Farm Credit Services, Pelican Valley Health Center, High 10 Sports Center Holly, Ski Doo, Northland Ford Dealers, Anderson Mobile Homes Sabika, Vegan and Johnson Furniture Holly, Frazee Merchants, Pelican Rapids Merchants, Norseman Motors Detroit Lakes, Frazee Burgess Care Center, and Okasins Detroit Lakes. Our first game tonight, Holly and Dilworth Glendon Felton for the starting lineups. Let's go to the PA announcer, Nick Guida. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Concordia's Memorial Auditorium Fieldhouse for tonight's subsection 23A high school boys basketball tournament. Our first ga semifinal game of the evening features the eighth seed at Dilworth Glendon Felton Rebels <laughs> against the fifth seeded Holly Nuggets. For your starting lineups, first for the guest team on the scoreboard, the Dilworth Glendon Felton Rebels. <laughs> starting at one guard, a 5'8 sophomore, number 12, Ryan Ockry. <laughs> starting at the other guard, a 5'7 sophomore, number 22, Rob Flint. <laughs> starting at forward, a 6' foot junior, number 14, Eric Michael Bust. Starting at the other forward, a 5'10 senior, number 32, Sean Norton. And starting at center, a 6'4 senior, number 44, Matt Lesko. The Rebels are coached by Steve Molstry. And now the starting lineups for the home team on the scoreboard, the Holly Nuggets. Starting at one guard, a 5'10 senior, number 10, Mike Olson. Starting at the other guard, a 5'9 junior, number 12, John Peterson. Starting at one forward, a 6'1 junior, number 34, Sheridan Johnson. Starting at the other forward, a 6'0 sophomore, number 42, Travis Olson. Starting at center, a 6'2 sophomore, number 44, Brian Martadam. The Nuggets head coach, Steve Pesci. Two young coaches. One, a former player in this tournament, Steve Molstry. That always adds to the tradition. Dana Mock, his team knocked off the number one seed, Ratze. Can they keep this streak alive? It was Minnesota's first March Madness upset, the number eight seed DJF knocking off the number one seed, Ratze, in the quarterfinals. Call it the jinx of number one in District 23. The number one seed, as far as we know, has not won this tournament since 1987 when Hawley did it. And one of the key players for the Nuggets that, that year was Steve Molstry. He'll try and keep that magic going tonight, but to get to the championship game, he'll have to beat his alma mater. Ed Denny, back to you. Lesko and Martadam will jump center to start things off. Here we go. And it comes off to the Nuggets. Right away, Olsen controls on the near side. Peterson wasting no time and can't save it off the miss. It's going to go to the Rebels. We're going to see a game just like this, Ed. Just Look like at the that. hustle. Look at the hustle. <laughs> I mean, a kid diving out of bounds after the ball. Coach, you're shooting quick here. Hey, I love it. Here we go, DGF with the ball right away, and Ryan Ockrey's going to run the show, and here we go. The Nuggets are going to open up a little zone defense here. Yeah, Holly's in a 1-2-2 two, two zone. They're going to take the three. This is Flint. It won't go. Norton on the putback. Won't go again. Let's go. And gets it up top. This is going to be Ockery. They're 0 for 4. And we got a whistle inside. You know, you got to show up under the lights with the idea if you don't shoot the rock, coach, you're not getting on the scoreboard. Oh, and I'll tell you what, it. nervous, nerves, nerves here. The kids are not shooting it, but you wait and see. These kids can drill the three. They'll be putting them in. The inbound comes up top to Norton, and they swing it weak side to Michael Buss. And now the Nuggets continue to stay in that zone defense. This is Norton in the far corner. Ockrey, near side is going to be Flint. You 
see Ed, uh, that one, two, two covers those uh, three point shooters pretty well. Norton off balance, but it goes. And that's the weakness of it, the inside on that one, two, two. Mike Olson running the show now. One of two seniors on this basketball team. This is Travis Olson, now Mike Olson. Nice speed inside. Marta down with his first two of the night. Beautiful pass. Second in the Heart of Lakes in uh, assists this year with just about six a, six a game. Holly on the D, now working baseline as Norton again, and you call it, Coach, there in the paint and on the baseline is where they want to go. Right. Norton really takes the ball to the basket. Takeaway, number one, it comes off the Lesko, but Norton's come to play on both ends of the floor tonight. A long three, Flint can't get it to go. Rebound, Martadam, fast break, Mike Olson pops it short, he traveled. Now Mike lost his footing a little bit there. He should have pulled back a little bit earlier, but hey, it's early in the game, and there's a lot of nerves. They're taking a lot of deep breaths out there early on, aren't they? Especially that sophomore backcourt of DGF. I mean, Randy Flint uh, was on B squad when this season started. I think Ockrey was too, Dana. They were both on B squad and they moved them up. Ockrey dressed for the varsity, but he certainly wasn't a starter at the beginning of the year. Ockrey goes baseline. This is Michael Bust, and he gets the roll. Nice soft touch on the iron. Beautiful pass, too. Passes. Good passes lead to baskets. Here we go, Mike Olson working the show against a man-to-man. -man. They go right side to John Peterson, a nephew of Lynn Peterson at Staples, and doesn't that look familiar out of the Peterson family? Great move, great move to penetrate in the lane and be under control to hit that bucket. Rebels looking for fast break action, couldn't get it, and Martadam is gonna be charged with that foul as Norton took it down the lane. Norton goes to the basket as well as anybody in this tournament. He is really tough with the ball to the basket. Sean Norton. He had 18 points in that Rossi game, and uh, that, that led the DGF kids. And the putback. This is going to be Michael Buss. Can't get it to go. Lesko is fouled. And I believe that one he's going to have to take care of Lesko. He's a big jumper. He's only 6'4", but he's a very good leaper. When he was a sophomore, at the end of the year, he just had a tremendous, uh, tremendous end of the year for him. There he is. There he is, big. And Lesko goes to the free throw line and can't get that one to go. That foul, by the way, was on Sheridan Johnson for, for Hawley. And the free throw again is good by Lesko. So, guys, we're not on. Okay. Johnson brings it up top to Peterson. Onto the weak side is going to be Sheridan Johnson. He brings it up top, and he'll take it inside the circle. Too strong. And a loose ball comes out to Johnson again. And he traveled. We're going the other way. Seven to four with 4.45 remaining first quarter action. DGF with the lead here in the early going at the Cobber Fieldhouse. Up top is Peterson. They get it back on over to Flint. Up top again to Ockrey. Very patient Rebel basketball team. Ockrey, they go baseline and Orton. Norton can't get it to Lesko, and we got people tied up. There's a timeout on the floor. The Rebels lead it 7-4 with midway through the first. It's Minnesota basketball on DAY. Stay with us. Dreaming about your
your fishing boat? Now's the time to see it at Simison Marine. Like the 96 Lund 1600 Rebel, powered by Mercury's 25 horse outboard. Water ready, only $93 a month. Simison Water tests your new fishing boat and backs you with superior service. A 96 Lund 1650 Tai, powered by a 90 horse Mercury, just $2.15 a month. Simison gives you a large selection of quality fishing boats and low prices. Like the 96 Lund Pro V 1775 Deluxe, only $2.37 a month. Now's the time to get the fishing boat you've always wanted at Simison Marine. Nearly 300 high school students in this area have received Norwest Community Scholarships over the last four years. Here are some of this year's winners. In Fergus Falls, home of the World Barefoot Water Ski Tournament, our winners are Adam Berge and Eric Ronovic. Three of our proud winners in Moorhead this year are Jana Rubke, Laura Jameson, and Heather Spillen. Congratulations! Come on over to Norwest. Wall Drug in Holly is happy to be a part of the Holly Nuggets game. See Wall Drug for professional advice and service from your hometown pharmacist because they care. And remember Peterman Seeds of Holly for registered and certified spring wheat, durum, barley, and soybean seed. Check out their competitive prices. And United Building Centers Holly is where it all begins with you, helping to build a better community. The Holly Nuggets are a super team from a super town. Holly. Back at the Cobber Fieldhouse, Ed Schultz along with Denny Anderson and Dana Mock. Earlier meetings between these two teams, Hawley and DGF. And there you see how close they were, 63-57. And then the Rebels came back and got a hold of them in the playoffs. The previous meeting, it was Hawley over Barnesville. John Peterson led the way with 19. And, of course, the big upset, DGF, a deuce better than Rotze, the number eight seed, knocking off the number one seed. Off the inbound, this is Lesko, and he gets his first bucket of the night with a couple of free throws, and Steve Molstry's team is off to a nine to four start here midway through the first quarter. Mike Olson runs the show up top for no, Hawley. No. And onto the wing, left side is gonna be Travis Olson down low. Lesko ties him up, but he finds it off the glass. Travis Olson hits his first two. Down the floor again. This time, it's going to be Ocri. Now they go into the corner to Michael Bust. Inside Lesko, he's getting the job done early on. Again, Olsen on the wing. Nice pass, far court, in tight. Martadam couldn't make it to go, and we got a foul inside. We're going the other way. And they're going to call that one. This time on Travis Olson away from the bucket. It's going to be an offensive foul. And DGF with a five-point lead with 323 remaining here in the first quarter. They have the lead. Three twenty to go here. First quarter action. On to the wing. That's Flint. He brings it up top to Norton, who's been on fire. A long three, and it's going to go. It's this Ocri. Ocri kid. This Ocri kid can really hit him. He's a heck of a three-point shooter. Well, I'll tell you what. Ocri has been the sophomore sensation down the stretch here for the Rebels. As even though they're a 500 ball club, they've won five of their last six. Now this is Hawley with Peterson down low inside. Martadam is rejected that time. Check that. Sheridan Johnson rejected. Nice and pass. he'll go to the free throw line. Nice pass in there by Peterson into uh, Sheridan. So Hawley is going to have to get things going here offensively before too long. Steve Pashy, the head coach in his second year of the Nuggets, has been around Minnesota basketball for a while. He's three years at Blaine High School as an assistant, four years at Wabin High School, and a career record of 82 and 52. And a couple of free throws. First one goes, second one does not. The putback by Martadam is no good. And the Nuggets control. Again, Sheridan Johnson won't go. Rebound, Martadam. It drops. Oh, is that a big rebound by Martadam? Sophomore kid can jump. In the paint with a nice touch is Emil, and it won't go. And we're going to go the other way as it goes out of bounds. Emil, Todd Emil off the bench. So, Steve Molstry, the first coach to go to the bench tonight. Does he run any of Critchy stuff? Remember, he played for, 
played for uh, Critchley down the road there at Hawley. Has he run any of his stuff? You'd recognize anything, Danny? He's got him hustling just like Critch did, I'll tell you. And a nice drive inside by Martadown. On to the wing on the far side. It's in and out, won't go by Ockrey. Put back Lesko. Can't get it. Rebound inside Peterson. Here comes John Peterson up the floor. Peterson with a shot and it's good. Ockrey working across the timeline. This is Norton and he traveled. Yeah. It's a one point game. A seven On. point run here for the Holly Nuggets has pulled them within one with a minute 41 remaining. So here we go. The Nuggets with the basketball. Going to bring it up. Peterson way outside. Down low. This is Sheridan Johnson. He loses it inside. And we got people tied up as Harview was on the rebound. And the possession's going to go to the Nuggets. Or check that to the Rebels here. Oh, wait a minute. Now they're going to change it. Excellent defense by the Rebels. They really collapsed when that ball went to Sheridan Johnson in the low post. Hawley will maintain control. Up top. Wybe. Now they go down low to Johnson. In traffic, so what? His first bucket tonight. And Hawley takes its first lead on the evening. This is Norton inside feed and a nice touch off the glass and down by Todd Emmel. Beautiful pass by Norton. They see the floor well, don't they, Denny? You bet they do. They look they look for the open guy and they hit the open guy. Wybe brings it up top. Peterson against the man-to-man -man with a high off the glass drive. Beautiful drive by Peterson. He's got uh, Peterson blood in him. There's no doubt about that. Norton in trouble. I think both teams are playing with reckless abandon. They're really playing loose. Look at that kind of move in traffic. There's Norton again. He's got six of Dilworth, Linden, Felton's 18. Look at this scoring touch, huh? Nor Norton really uses the glass. Yeah, that's nice to see. Play three quarters in North Dakota to get to that with 20 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Now they're going to play down to the last shot. Mike Olson running the show up to... I don't think anybody is going to uh, tell these boys to slow it up tonight. They're going to go after it. Wybe loses it. Outside is going to be Grove. He'll toss it. Won't go. That should do it. It is. We got a close one. Dilworth, Lyndon felt leading by one after the first quarter. Steve Molstry's team down by eight came roaring back to cut it to one. You're watching Minnesota Basketball live on WDAY. Burns Motor Company, Hawley, is happy to be a part of this year's basketball tournament. It's an exciting time of year for high school basketball and for Burns Motor Company. Now's the time for special savings on a great selection of new and used cars and trucks. Don't buy till you try Burns Motor Company, your Ford Mercury dealer since 1927, with the best in sales and service. Buy your next car or truck from a good neighbor. Burns Motor Company, Highway 10 West in Hawley. Large enough to serve you, small enough to care. If you want a low-priced lawn tractor with a future, stop by Clay Becker Implement, your John Deere dealer. Now during Deere season, check out the new John Deere STX-38 with a 12.5 horsepower, high-torque engine, and 5-speed on-the-go shift. The STX-38 starts at under $2,000. Clay Becker Implement has the parts and experienced service personnel to take care of all your John Deere equipment. Clay Becker Implement has all your lawn and garden needs. Clay Becker Implement, just off Highway 10, is your local John Deere dealer in Hawley. Barnum's Napa Auto Parts has the largest inventory of auto parts in the area. Let their strength work for you. Quality auto parts when you need them. Plus, they provide services to fit your needs. Barnum's will mix and match any color paint, including low-cost urethane enamel for farm and fleet. Free off-the-car testing of your starter or alternator. Napa also will make custom hydraulic hoses for farm fleet and industrial equipment. They're open when you need them. Weeknights, Saturdays, and Sundays. We keep them First National Bank is happy to be a part of this action-filled tournament game. 
And remember to call First National Bank in Hawley or Dilworth to check out their attractive CD rates. Member FDIC. The Rapid Corporation reminds all of you Hawley Nuggets fans to contact the Rapid Corporation for all of your material handling needs. And Susan, Jerry, and Barb, the new owners of the Spotlight Bar in Hawley, are proud of the Nuggets, a super team from a super town, Hawley. So one quarter is gone in the 1996 tournament. First game up tonight, Hawley and DGF. And the Rebels have the lead, 18-17. And when you look at this game before it, before it started, you know, you say DGF with a 12 and 11 record and uh, Holly with 11 and 12. But you got to remember, both these teams were playing tremendous at the end of the year. That's besides, the bottom line, isn't besides it? Besides that, Holly started out, they were runner up in the state football, so they didn't get a good start. Yeah, I suppose, you know, you got ex excellent athletes shifting gears and they're going to get a slow start. Lesko has not had a slow start tonight. He has been on fire. Dana Mock at courtside, what are you hearing in the huddles tonight? I was in the DGF huddle and Steve Molstreet reminded his players everything starts on the defensive end. We have no problems offensively. We have to deny the pass into the middle against Hawley. He also turned to Flint, the sophomore shooting guard, and said, no conscience, put it up, young man. Rebound off the miss shot is Michael Bust, and he brings it up the floor. I like that philosophy. Put it up, young man. You betcha. Norton, near side is going to be Ockrey, the sophomore who's caught fire in late season along with Rob Flint. Both teams playing that zone defense, being pretty stingy here tonight. And Norton loses the ball from behind, but it's going to stay with the Rebels. Well, that young man just takes off for the bucket with the ball. Getting back to that shooting the ball, I'll tell you, the only... The only bad shot is a shot that doesn't go in. That's Blackie. Blackie Mariano, Terry, is one of the best coaches District 23 ever, ever had. Lesko is just really off to a great start. He's in double figures already. And a nice transition bucket by Adam Grove, who's off the bench for the Nuggets tonight. And we're still very tight at 22 to 19. Rebels with the ball and the lead. Ryan Ockrey again. Near side is... Norton and now in the corner and it's an easy two for the big kid. That's Todd Emmel off the bench. He's got four. Nice touch with that shot. High Mike, arch. Mike Olson gets it over to Johnson. Now this is Peterson. YB feeds it inside. Knocked out of bounds. Nuggets control. There's a veteran official of our coverage over the years. Bill Fisher. Yeah, he's called a couple technicals on me. You know, when you start, <laughs> certainly none of them were deserving. No, I had never had one. So, but when simple. it was at your place, did you guys still give him a check after the game? That's I'll tell the you what, he never called a technical at our place. <laughs> <laughs> they bring it up top against now the Rebels going to a man-to-man -man and getting loose as Olsen, but he loses the ball off the north. Exactly that. It started off the defense. They really converge well on the ball in there. I'm really impressed with the job Coach Molstry's done with that defense. Lesko and Norton have got 18 of the 26 DGF points tonight. This is Mike Olson. He was that quarterback on that great football team this year. And they're going to cast a three and it won't go. Peterson misses the shot, running it up the floor. This is going to be Ockrey. And now they get another turnover. And this is... Again, Peterson controlling for Hawley. That last offensive set that Hawley went into, it was a little uh, critchley in there. They went into the flex. Hawley now sizing things up from the wing. Peterson, it won't go. Loose ball on the base. Lesko touched it, and it will stay with the Nuggets. Oh, that's some nice hustle after that ball. We're down to 5-18 remaining of the first half. 26-19, it's a game of runs and gaps. There you see both teams with pretty good shooting percentage here. And inside is Martadam. He can't get it to drop. Lesko clears it, and here come the Rebels. There was a... Uh, Norton is just uh, possessed. He's got 10. He goes to the bucket. Norton and Lesko have combined for 20 of the 28 DGF points, both with 10 apiece. And Hawley's got to figure something out offensively here. Johnson trying to work the baseline. Now off to Martadam. Nice touch. Martadam's got eight. Boy, he went hard to the basket. He did. Both Good. he and Norton are going after it tonight. This is Flint. His first two. And he's one of the guys that they're crediting in the DGF camp for the run. Rejection as the drive by Olsen is 
so he takes off for the bucket with it. Dana, there is no fear. I think they looked at some old tapes before coming to the Copper Field House tonight. Well, Mike's a quarterback in football, you know, that runner-up team. He said, hey, there's a hole, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Look at Flint, go to the box. Flint, go to the basket. Tough little guard, sophomore. And Olsen's gonna put that one down. peaceful rural community only 40 minutes from Fargo Moorhead and 20 minutes from the Lakes area? Eulin Hitterdahl. Did you know these friendly communities offer an affordable lifestyle with a progressive school system? Eulin Hitterdahl. Did you know these towns have their own city parks and offer many recreational activities? Eulin Hitterdahl. Did you know that affordable housing and lots for building are available? Why not take the time to check out Eulin Hitterdahl. Now the best little buildings in America are available at Cenex in Dilworth, Moorhead, and West Fargo. Mini tech storage units are revolutionary, self-contained steel buildings complete with overhead door and self-supporting floor. These portable units come in a variety of colors and sizes, perfect for cars, boats, small tractors, garden equipment, or other storable items. For farm, home, or business, get a mobile modular mini storage building from your local Cenex in Dilworth, Moorhead, or West Fargo. Eddie and Ginny's Garden Center in Glendon knows the Dilworth Glendon Falcon Rebels have been getting ready for this tournament all season. Now it's time for you to start thinking about spring. Eddie and Ginny's Garden Center will be opening soon with concrete lawn ornaments, bird baths, fountains, and much more. They'll have geraniums, petunias, marigolds, and other flowering plants, plus a large selection of vegetable plants. So think spring. Think Eddie and Ginny's Garden Center, Highway 10 in Glendon, opening soon and open every day. Another farmer-owned co-op on the way. Details at 10. Here's the Flint kid doing it, Denny. Watch his reaction afterwards. He's a little fired up, Ed. Hey, he's been watching it. He grew up with it, and now he's living it. It's 30-23, and points off the turnovers, Coach. That's what... Uh, Steve Bolstry is concerned about tonight. When you've got a running team, they both are running teams, but if you can make the other team turn over, you've you got a good chance of getting a bucket down there. Now Hawley has jumped to a man-to-man. -man. First time we've seen that. They go inside Lesko, and why not? He has just gotten the job done inside so far tonight. That's the very reason why they started in that zone. They were afraid of uh, Lesko in there. Man, can they take him man-to-man, -man, Coach? I don't know. They're going to have to have a lot of backside help because the kid is a real jumper. Inside, Olsen with the shot, and he's fouled. Dana Mock, courtside, 10-point game. What's it mean with 3.48 remaining first half? In the Hawley lineup, and these two coaches are sounding awfully much alike. Steve Pasche said offensively, I want a four to six mentality on offense, four to six passes. We do that, get some ball reversal, we'll get penetration inside. Defensively, he said, I want to hear three things, ball, deny, and help. And like Steve Molstry, Steve Pasche said it all begins on the defensive end. That's a great huddle, isn't it, Coach, for a young coach? These guys, are they're showing up tonight organized. Hey, the two Steves know their ball, let me tell you. They're, they're both excellent basketball players. Pasche, Pasche coached up at Wabin. I used to coach against him when he was up there and did a tremendous job. And we all know what Molstry's done this year's first year. Travis Olson hits one of two free throws. Now they bring it up to Kyle Johnson. They bring it up top to Flint. Shot no good. Nuggets clear it. Here comes the break. Mike Olson on the run. Olson gets it over to Peterson. John Peterson looking. The little things, Ed. DGF got back so quick that time. That's a little thing, but it's big. They are pressuring the ball way out at the three-point line, and they get a turnover. Flint, 360's on the dribble, and he's fouled. What a move by...
by the sophomore kid. What a move. Great hands, great quickness. Do you like playing sophomores? Hey, if they can play, you bet. Look at it, isn't that a great move? He kept control of that ball. Went to the bucket with it where he knew something good was gonna happen. Rob Flint. Tough kid. Still worth Lyndon Felt. They lead it by nine. 308 remaining here in the first half. And the lefty. This is his first free throw tonight. Sean Norton with 10. Matt Lesko's dished in 12. And again, too strong by Flint. And it comes off to the Nuggets. Controlled by Sheridan Johnson. Eight-point lead is probably as much as these two teams have been apart all year. Man-to-man -man defense for DGF. Saving it off the missed pass is going to be Peterson in traffic. He puts it up short. Rebounding power comes to the Rebels. Lesko clears it up. And they're going to get a shot at a fast break. Won't happen. And a turnover again. And Peterson for the Nuggets. He'll take it all the way. And we got a foul. And Moultrie doesn't like that call. He thought it was offensive. Not going to go that way. And Norton. Tough to get position on a, on a kid as active as Peterson. Second personal foul for Norton. Watch him slide by him. See, that's a foul. It's a proper call because he slid by him. Peterson with six on the night, and those free throws looming so big here. DGF leading 32-24. We're down to 2.30 remaining in the first half. Both coaches back to the bench after the horn. And this one's going to fall for the youngster in the backcourt for the Nuggets. These two teams played twice during the year. Total points between, between them in two games was four. So you know, they're evenly matched ball clubs. Mike Riddle checks in now for Hawley. This is Norton for DGF. Lesko. Lesko in traffic, loses the ball on the floor, and that's going to be a foul. Oh, one thing to lose it, uh, but he was a little anxious trying to get it back and reached out and got himself a foul. is doing the same thing as DGF. They converge on the ball. When it goes down in the lane, I mean, they're on top of it. Lesko was the player that was charged with that foul. I checked myself on that one. Thank you. Nuggets. Travis Olson to Mike Olson. Alone is Peterson. And he needs down a three. It's tough. First three of the ball game for the Holy Nuggets. Transferred over from Ross a couple years ago. Great player. Michael Buss goes inside Lesko. He has been unstoppable so far. Lesko's just so much bigger than everyone else. And he's got nice touch around there. He's got 14 to go with that touch. And a big turnover here, Norton. Norton's going to go all the way. Great control by Sean Norton. And DGF. With a strong finish here, late in the first half. Again, great defense set that up. Big steal by Norton, he took it all away. Great patience by the Nuggets, and Mike Rydell with a shot at it, won't hit anything. And Emil will clear it away for the Nuggets with a minute remaining. Nice performance by Steve Pashy's team here to Keep it close, and now we got Lesko on the outside. This is going to be Norton again forcing the action, and, and it's going to be a foul, and Norton, I believe that's his third, oh, and that Sher could be trouble for DGF, and Steve Molstry knows it. Sheridan Johnson just went after that ball just as if he was possessed, and uh, Norton wasn't going to be overdone, so That is his after. third personal. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think he thought a travel might have been called, but... He's on him, you can see it. And coming back to the other end is Sheridan Johnson at the free throw line. The rebound comes off to Carter. 
Harview. He'll clear it up, and Rob Flint will run the show. And now it's going to be Ockrey. They'll play for one. Holly shot 68% on free throws during the year, but that doesn't count now. We're in tournament time. Isn't that the truth? Flint, is he going to go one-on-one -on -one with Mike Olson? Two good athletes head-to-head -head out there. He's looking for a pick. He's down inside the 10-second mark. On the outside, it's going to be Ockrey looking for something, and it's going to be Flint with a quick shot. And that's going to do it for the first half. DGF leads it. 36-28. We are at halftime. An eight-point advantage for the Dilworth Linden Felton Rebels. Let's go to courtside and Dana Mock. Steve, uh, the pace of this game, do you like it? Is it Nugget-style basketball? Well, I'd like, to, I'd like to see us push it up more. I, I know that they want to try and push it and get the tempo up, but, uh, you know, we, we, we have got to put more pressure. Mainly we can't run and push and, and play that same aggressive style because defensively we're not doing the job. We have to make some defensive adjustments. Our, our uh, man defense right now is really not very good. It's not, not something that uh, I'm real proud of at this point. We're going to have to step it up a level, make a couple adjustments, but uh, it, it, the whole key for us right now is the defensive end of the floor. If we can play some defense, I think we can get some easy opportunities ourselves, but right now we're we're letting them bring the play to us. You deny some buckets inside? Yeah, we have to do, I think we have to try to make some adjustments there. We've been getting uh, caught uh, fronting and we may have to look to play in behind a little bit and try and push them out. We, we also have to do a lot better job of just getting ball pressure. That, that high post, low post entry and the entry from the wing is just too easy. We gotta get busier on the ball and bigger on the ball in the entry passes. Thanks coach. Thanks. Steve Pashy, the head coach of the Holly Nuggets. His team trails at halftime 36-28 and Sean Norton with the play to close out here this first half and Norton has been on fire. Both Sean Norton and Matt Lesko have combined for 26 of the Rebels 36 here in the first half. Stay with us. You're watching Minnesota Basketball on WDAY. The Norwest Bank Halftime Report is brought to you by Norwest Banks. Your community Norwest Banks awards scholarships each year to deserving Northwestern Minnesota students. From the Detroit Lakes area, the region's recreational playground, we congratulate three very deserving winners, Melissa Hindemeister, Paula Augustine, and Sarah Nicholas. And in Fergus Falls, we congratulate our third winner in 1996, Renee Levang. Come on over. Expert service and quality paint. That describes Peterson's Paint Supply and Pittsburgh Paints. Not sure which color to select? Their Design a Color System too will help you. They can also bring their exclusive handheld color checker to your site and instantly match your paint color. Their in-store AccuMatch Color System can help you match colors from any sample. They also carry Manor Hall, the premier interior and exterior paint, along with a complete line of Pittsburgh paint. Peterson's Paint Supply, corner of 5th Avenue and Fickner Drive, Fargo. Good evening, Dean Jackson, live from the District 23 Basketball Tournament Action here from Concordia Fieldhouse. I'd like to invite you to call the number on your screen right now to take advantage of the Forms Minnesota, Minnesota Tournament Special. By calling the number on your screen right now, you'll receive the form delivered to you tomorrow morning where you'll see exciting color photos, stats, and complete tournament coverage. Plus, you'll receive, as a bonus, the form delivered to you for two weeks free with your new order. So call now. We'll call that number right now to receive the Forms Minnesota Tournament Special. Money. 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 Now getting money. cash money. can be faster money. and money. easier money. with convenient, secure ATM cash machines at a nearby stop and go. 24 hours every day. Just stop into one of these 12 area stop and goes for immediate cash for any reason, anytime. Cash. Fast, convenient, and secure at a nearby stop and go ATM cash machine. 24 hours every day.
featuring the Holly Nuggets and the DGF Rebels that score at halftime 36-28, DGF leading. You know, on the bench of DGF is a head coach by the name of Steve Bolstry. He has come full circle in District 23 basketball. A few years ago, Steve Bolstry was the key player for the Holly Nuggets, 85, 86, and on the dream team in 1987, the Nuggets ranked number one for most of the state. In fact, when you look up in the Minnesota State High School record book, you will find the field goal percentage leaders, Kevin McHale and Steve Molstry. He's now coaching DJF, his first year, one of many new coaches in the Heart of Lakes Conference, and his ball club leads Holly, his alma mater, by a score of 36 to 28. We're at halftime. We'll come back with more at halftime. Halftime stats, highlights, and a talk with Steve Molstry when we return to the Copper Fieldhouse after this. It's been a great year for the Dilworth Glendon Felton Rebels. These area merchants are proud to be a part of this year's tournament. Heartland Insurance Agency Moorhead, Northwestern State Bank of Eulen, Dilworth and Glendon, Town and Country Oil, Moorhead, Glendon, Holly, the High Ho Cafe, Dilworth, Emmy and Ginny's Garden Center, Glendon, and Hillershog Mono High Incorporated Fascinated Sugar Beet Seed, Glendon. Congratulations to the Dilworth Glendon Felton Rebels, a team to be proud of. When it comes to custom design, custom built buildings that fit almost any customer's needs, no one beats Foltz Buildings, just as our customers. Jim and Bev Hansen say, we're very pleased with the professional crew. The job was done on schedule. And Wally Nord says, you did a fine job. We have a quality building built by quality craftsmen. We built a reputation for quality backed by a warranty second to none and we'll build year round. Call Foltz Buildings at 1-800-255-9981 for a free estimate. Serving Minnesota and the Dakotas. What a great time for you to buy a new car or truck at Muscatel. You see, they're overstocked with must be news inventory in all new 1996 models. They're overstocked with Dodge Caravans, Dodge Rams and Dakotas, Dodge Intrepid, Jeep Cherokee, and lots more. All at great savings during the new model reduction sale at Muscatel. Take advantage of sale prices, low interest rates, rebates, or lease packages. You've seen their logo, you know their fine reputation, so buy now during the new model reduction sale at Muscatel, downtown Moorhead. Steve Cycle and Marine, Fergus Falls, is happy to be included in this tournament. It's a fun time of year, and Steve Cycle and Marine has everything you need for your special type of fun. A full line of Ski-Doo snowmobiles, Honda Gold Wing Cycles, Honda 4x4 4 tracks ATVs, Alumacraft Boats, Hewitt Boat and Pontoon Lifts, and much, much more. For a fun time, visit Steve Cycle and Marine, just off I-94, exit 50 in the north end of Fergus Falls. They've got it all. Back at halftime of game one of District 23 semifinal action, better known as primetime, DGF leads Holly by a score of 36 to 28. Coming up, game two a little later on tonight, the favorite team in this tournament, Pelican Rapids, featuring the twin towers of 6'8", Lance Roysom and 6'7", Brady Roysom, Roysom up against Brazy, a team that barely has a player in double figures, but the Hornets feature a team concept. We'll have that game later on. We'll be back with more of the first game after this.
Burns Motor Company Hawley is happy to be a part of this year's basketball tournament. It's an exciting time of year for high school basketball and for Burns Motor Company. Now's the time for special savings on a great selection of new and used cars and trucks. Don't buy till you try Burns Motor Company, your Ford Mercury dealer since 1927, with the best in sales and service. Buy your next car or truck from a good neighbor. Burns Motor Company, Highway 10 West in Hawley. Large enough to serve you, small enough to care. By awarding scholarships, your community Norwest Banks help support the dreams of the students in your community. In Moorhead, we're helping to make the dream possible for two more of our 1996 winners, Kara Anderson and Alicia Grivno. And from the Thief River Falls area, home to world-famous Arctic Cat snowmobiles, we congratulate Melinda Olson, Thomas Kempstead, and Robin Purat. Come on over. Norwest Bank Halftime Report was brought to you by Norwest Banks. Another farmer-owned co-op on the way. Details at 10. Steve, what do you tell your ball club? What's got to happen in the, the final half here for DGF to be successful? I reminded them that we got to do what we did the first half to be successful and that Holly can strike in a hurry. They showed that a couple times. They can strike in a hurry and an eight-point lead is not safe. More concerns for you defensively than offensively? Defensively is our biggest concern. Offensively, I'm satisfied. I think we can do all right offensively. Defensively is my concern. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Steve Molstry has really gotten his big guys doing the job, Denny. He's got Sean Norton and Matt Lesko. I mean, at tournament time, your guys have been doing it all year. Got to show up for you. You can't come into tournament play expecting sophomores to win it for you. 13 Lesko, 12 Norton. Exactly right, Ed. The big thing, I think, uh, has uh, two things. DGF, when they get the steal, they've been down and score. Now, Holly's only had six turnovers, and DGF only five, so it's a well-played ball game so far. Excellent basketball. This is Travis Olson looking inside, brings it up top to Mike Olson. Now with a nice drive off the layup is going to be Brian Martadam, and he is into 10 points on the night. These kids really take it to the bucket. There's a little pressure by Holly. And again, the Nuggets can't get that one to fall. Sheridan Johnson misses the shot. Goes off his hand, we're going to DGF. Are you one of these guys that believed in a great start in the second half? Can really take you to victory more than anything else you do in the court? You bet. You bet. You know, I mean, that's every coach says or seems to say that we talk to these days. I got to have a great start in the second half. You want a good start at the beginning of the game, and you want a good start in the second half. Again. Johnson knocks it out of bounds off the inbound. Rebels maintain possession. They lead by six on the inbound. It's going to be awkward. And no high school team is able to keep a, you know, top, top basketball with no turnovers and doing everything right all the time. Colleges don't even do that. So you've got to go in spurts. Basketball is a game of spurts. Michael Bus goes inside to Norton, who, by the way, has got three fouls and he scores again. He is tough around the bucket. And he's got 14 tonight. DGF working that man-to-man -man defense pretty loose. They're not covering the, the three too well. Now they tighten it up a little bit. Peterson gets it over. This is going to be Johnson. He feeds it off. And Travis Olson is fouled on the bucket. And he'll get a deuce and go to the line. Nice play, nice pass, and nice hesitation by Travis. Held up until he knew he was going to get some contact. See that? And then put it in so he gets a chance for a three-point play. Got a lot of shaved heads in the tournament, Denny. We're yeah. going to see him next game. Yeah, I think they all want to be Michael Jordan. <laughs> Short off the iron, Norton on the rebound. Olsen couldn't make it go. Michael Buss, Lesko. 
Thompson, but nothing wrong with that. Great change of pace. It's one of the best moves in basketball. They think they got him stopped. Here he comes. He backs off, change of pace, and there he goes, right by him. Three Beautiful between move. the leg dribbles. Great, great move. And twice reversing direction. And the young lefty makes his first free throw on three attempts tonight. And again, DGF inching away from from Hawley, and that's a miss, and it comes off to the Nuggets, and quickly up the floor, Martadam is cut off for the baseline. Oh, nice back door, and Travis, check that Judd Peterson clears it away. Mike Olson delivered a beautiful assist. And it's gonna go back to Hawley. Hawley's playing some nice pressure defense here the second half, they came out much tougher, picking up full court. John Peterson with 12 points tonight for the Holly Nuggets, and there he is again looking for more. Stripped that time by Lesko. Kicks. It's going to the ETF. Real scramble for the ball that time, and of course it's going to happen, and he ended up coming off someone's knee. Against the pressure. Rob Flint. Let's go. In tight. Easy two. DGF. Neither one of these teams are camera shy. Nice feed by Flint and a nice finish by Lesko. Holly's got to start bombing some threes. You just said it. That one wouldn't drop. Nice put back inside. Won't go by Travis Olson. And again, Martadam couldn't get it to go, and somebody's on the line, and we're going to DGF. Are they going after the boards, or are they going after the boards? They really are. Yep. Norton will put it in play against, again, full-court pressure. Robbie Flint, he can break it, and reaching in is going to be John Peterson. Yeah, if John only knew that uh, he had help coming up from the back, but uh, a little anxious. And Dana players are wearing the cheap kicks. Oh, oh no, Michael Jordan is making some nice royalties in this game. Norton draws the foul. That's going to be on Martadam. Hey, there's no sense in going to the show, Coach, unless you got the right equipment. That's, exactly. That's like going on a fishing trip. you got to have the right stuff. Exactly. I'll tell you, nowadays when a kid's going to play athletics, uh, father and mother have to go to the bank. I'll tell you, and it's more than a loan. <laughs> for a quick bucket. DGF did a good job of getting back on the D and that three-point attempt by Martinam won't fall and again Hawley charged with a foul on Mike Olson. So nope, he called Hawley's travel. trying to get back in this thing, you know. They're he called a travel on Norton. Down by 11, 4.15 remaining. DGF with the lead and we're back. Get in on next year's snow fun at Clay Becker Implement, your Polaris dealer in Holly. And now during the Polaris Snow Check 97, get up to $650 in free clothing and accessories when you buy a new Polaris snowmobile. Better hurry in. Snow Check 97 ends April 15th. Clay Becker Implement has year-round Polaris fun with a great selection of watercraft, ATVs, clothing, and accessories. It's fun in any season at Clay Becker Implement, your Polaris dealer, just off Highway 10, Holly. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Capture that treasured moment with a professional portrait by Gross Studio. Weddings, seniors, children, families, couples, glamour, and restoration of old photographs. They use Kodak film and Kodak Royal paper. They do it all at Gross Studio, Moorhead. Get the picture? 
Year after year, Minnesota Motor Company has been named a Buick Best in Class dealer. Out of more than 3,000 dealers nationwide, only a handful receive this prestigious award. What does it mean to you? It means that all departments at Minnesota Motor have been found to be outstanding in the professional attention they give to the needs of customers. See for yourself. Stop in and experience firsthand the personal care and courtesy that makes Minnesota Motor Company a Best in Class winner. Buick, Chevrolet, Cadillac, and Geo. Minnesota Motor Company, South Pebble Lake Road, Fergus Falls. Well, they know they're going to the show, so they might as well do it right. I mean, some of these shoes today are, are, are 100 and a half, Denny. I mean, whatever happened to the high-top canvas Converse for 950? I used to be able to cut two lawns and get a new pair of shoes. You're way younger <laughs> than me. It was seven, seven and a half bucks. Chuck Taylor, you bet. <laughs> Here we go. 45-34, Dana Mock was in the huddle. Dana, what's the word? In the Holly huddle, he wants the Nuggets to pick up Robbie Flint early on. He thinks his pushing the ball up the floor will really hurt him. Also wants him to go strong inside and pick up fouls like they did just there. Offensively, remain patient. Four, six, seven passes, and the offense will take care of himself. And finally, a lot of basketball left. Guys, don't panic. Get your legs back, relax, have some fun. Marta Dam does just that. Works inside, gets the two and the three-point play opportunity short off the iron and here comes DGF Flint across the midcourt line loose ball is going to stay with DGF so Holly, Holly's having a little trouble with the free throws they only made one the first half and uh, they were down eight and DGF had five in the bucket so you know there's uh, there's uh, that's quite a difference boy it is DGF Ockery puts it in play to Lesko the 2-3 zone for the Holly Nuggets. Norton on the wing, up top to Flint. Flint playing patient, 3.51 remaining in the third quarter. They lead it by nine. Crazy and Pelican Rapids are coming up after this ball game tonight. Norton outside again, this is Ockery. And Ockery, his second three of the night. Kid's a good shooter. Holly's got to get on fire. They can't hit the gimmies. Travis Olson couldn't get it. Lesko's a little bit too much intimidation in there. Ockery again gets the roll off the short end of the iron. He's a streak shooter. He had 14 points in and, the first half against Rossi. And that's the difference right now. 14. Biggest lead of the game for the Rebels. Two big factors. Shot that time. Won't go by Johnson. Put back Mike Olson. No. Lesko clears it. Outlet pass off to Ockrey. Inside ammo, and it's a miss. And Ockrey is going to be fouled. When things don't go, when you're behind and you're pressing a little, I mean, they've missed a couple bunnies down here now that it has really hurt them. Well, they're not only missing the bunnies, but Hawley's getting a little frustrated taking some fouls that maybe they shouldn't. And it's starting to snowball on them a little bit. Yep. And they got 10.40 to turn this thing around. And Steve Molstry, his team doing what... He wants him to do. There's a smart move. He's got a 14-point lead. He's going to sit Norton down with three fouls. Why use him now? That's exactly right. Nice move by the young coach, and the shot that time won't go, and it comes off to Travis Olson. The Nuggets, they need somebody to get on fire. This is Wybie. He's trying to work it. It won't go. And again, it comes off to Kyle Johnson for DGF. This is Flint. Flint working the show. Kyle Johnson, he knows where the range is. Not this time. And quickly up the floor, Travis Olson. They may have a transition bucket. Mike Olson, they do. For Olson, that's his first bucket and a couple free throws for him tonight. Brother to brother, sophomore to the senior. Nice pass. Nice layup. Kyle Johnson outside to Flint. DJF's playing a tremendous ball game. Flint in traffic. Nice touch what over to Lesko, and he's got a two. 20 points for Lesko, and a foul. Following Ockrey, yeah, but I'll tell you, he, he was working hard to get position.
transition. The field goals this half, it's a nightmare for the Nuggets. Only five of 16, 70% shooting there for the Rebels in the second half. That'll gap you real quick. In traffic, rejected is Peterson, and DGF is getting to be relentless on both ends of the floor. A couple of threes, Coach, might bury him. Okay. You know? Outstanding team. DGF's an outstanding team. Five-second call by the young sophomore guard. Peterson dogged him long enough to get the five-second call. Down to a minute 12. Steve Molstry knows he's going to have young kids make those kind of mistakes. I think Flint wanted to catch his breath a little bit there, too. He's really been boring down both ends of the court. Johnson. Inside, Mike Olson. Short off the iron. Put back, rejected. Olson couldn't get it. We're going up on possession, and I believe it's going to go to DGF. Coach, when you're missing those tight ones inside, you got to use the glass. Exactly, but uh, you know, uh, Lesko has been there all night, and now he's on the bench, and you still, you don't realize it. You put it up there, and big turnover here, Peterson, and he's fouled. John Peterson for Hawley with a big play for the Nuggets. Maybe sure. that'll jump start him here as that cuts it to 12. Super hustle on John Peterson. Part and a great move to the bucket. 14 for Peterson to lead the Nuggets tonight and a couple of substitutions here. Martadam comes back in for the Holly Nuggets. Lesko's going to sit down. He's got 20 points tonight for DGF and there's John Peterson capping off the three-point play. They cut it to 11. Long down court pass. Hamill. Oh, it's an offensive foul. No good. Sheridan Johnson took the charge tremendously. He knew he was coming in there. He was there for a long time. Great defensive play by Sheridan Johnson. If Hawley can net a three here, and there you see Look the replay. This. Great call. Yeah, he had his position. He knew he knew if he camped there, something good was going to happen for him. Nuggets looking at 30 seconds remaining in the quarter. Trailing 52-41. They turn it over. That's just great on the line, up the line defense. Ockrey just denied Mike, Mike Olson that, uh, the ball, and it, the turnover was there. Boy, that's a big possession, Denny. If they could knock down a three and cut it to eight, you know, you're, you're looking at a little bit different scenario. Exactly. Now this is a big possession for DGF to get out of here with a double-figure lead going into the fourth, and they turn it over. Great defense by John Peterson there. We're seeing some, we're, we're seeing some basketball. The two sophomores, a little, uh, Ockery got a little uh, impatient there. Mike Olson looking up at the clock. He's not going to wait. He's going inside. And a nice rejection by the big kid, Carview. And Carview makes the play for DGF. Boy, Emil and Carview have come off the bench and given DGF some help tonight. You can say that Long again. Long down court pass and shot it won't go by Ockery. And they will go to the fourth quarter with an 11-point lead. Ed Schultz with Denny Anderson and Dana Mock live from the Cobber Fieldhouse. And we're back. What do you look for when you look for a place to stay? A good price, friendly people, Scandinavian hospitality. The Scandia Hotel is just what you're looking for. I highly recommend the Scandia Hotel in Fargo. It's such a bright and cheerful place to stay. Everyone feels welcome. You'll enjoy all the comforts of home, even kitchenette rooms and a game and snack shop. For the right lodging at the right price, come to the Scandia Hotel in Fargo, right across the street from St. Luke's and close to downtown. From the warmth of the summer sunshine to the first white winter snow, from the browns and golds of autumn to the spring when the rivers flow, a friendly welcome's waiting when I stop and say hello. Pelican Rapids Show can make you feel at home. Pelican Rapids Show can make you feel at home. We know you. We're a friend you can count on today. And we're here just to say we know you. And we're proud to be leading the way. Working hard every day. Northwestern State Bank, we know you. Northwestern State Bank, we're helping you through. At North 
students to all the teams from Hillcrest Academy in Fergus Falls. Hillcrest, a private boarding school with students in grades 9 through 12 from 18 states and four foreign countries, offers a Christian education. Bible study and chapel are part of every school day. Hillcrest is fully accredited, featuring a college prep curriculum. Music includes band and choir, travel opportunities, private instrumental and voice lessons. Students at Hillcrest enjoy participation in a full sports program. For more information, contact Hillcrest Lutheran Academy. We go to the fourth quarter. The Rebels leading the Nuggets 52-41. A packed house now here at Concordia College. District 23A basketball. The winner will be back tomorrow night with an 8 o'clock start against either Pelican Rapids or Frazee for the right to go to the region championship or the region tournament next week. That will be next Tuesday here on Channel 6. Hawley has got to get after it, and defense for Steve Molstry's team is going to be the difference down the stretch. And he said that in his halftime interview with Dana Mock. Dana, at courtside, what was the talk during the quarter break? Steve Molstry very happy with his defense. In fact, he said, don't change a thing. We're doing a great job. Offensively, if they're going to stay in the 2-3, Molstry said, let's work the clock, take some time off, and then look for the open shot, even the layup. Hawley cuts it to nine with a Sheridan Johnson basket. And now again, Flint running the show. And look out, Ockrey. Ockrey knocks down a big three. Great release on that ball. He's really a great shooter. Hawley trying to get something going. Sheridan Johnson passes it up. Olsen goes inside. And Wybie turning it over. Oh, they're going to get it back. And here we go again. Johnson, look at the gimmies they're missing tonight. Finally, Mike Olsen puts it down. Ten-point advantage. 6.40 remaining. Holly's not going to go away. There's, there's too many great athletes out there. Very competitive kids. Ockrey up top to Michael Bust. Man-to-man -man defense for the Nuggets. And they're trying to take away that perimeter shot. This is Norton back in the game. Michael Bust outside. There's that defense you're talking about, and Flint is cut off. Norton, this is going to be a one-minute possession, Denny. Michael Bust, very patient, and finally puts it down. He's got only four tonight, but that's a big deuce. When you can hold the ball that long and come up with a bucket, I'll tell you, when you got a, when you got a lead like this, that's tremendous basketball. That's great poise, and again, in and out for Sheridan Johnson, and a foul inside. Martyrdam has been a horse on the boards. He, he's a good leaper at 6'2", only a sophomore. Excellent player. I'm not sure who that one's on. It may be on Flint. That's his first. It is. Hawley retains possession. This is Peterson working the baseline, and he's rejected, and that's going to be a foul on Flint again. His second. Now... Hawley seems very determined to work that baseline and still go to that inside game. Well, they've they've missed a lot of shots in there, and uh, I, I don't think they feel they, they'll continue to miss those shots. Look at that shooting percentage. 26 of 39 on the night. 66% with the quick math in my head, and on the season, it's 40%. Good job on the graphic, guys, because it shows... That tells the story. Kids are really up. You bet. Norton off the rebound, and Michael Bust outside again, and Norton, and he's very capable, but that one comes up short. Sheridan Johnson to Olsen, and that one's going to be rejected, and Wybie is going to go to the line shooting two. Some nice passing there again. Just about lost the ball on the one, but uh, got it over to him, took it to the bucket. What a nice play there. Well, good things happen when you do that. When There's a timeout the on basketball. the floor, 523 remaining. DGF for the lead by a dozen, and we're back. It's been a great year for the 
Dilworth Glendon Felton Rebels. These area merchants are proud to be a part of this year's tournament. Heartland Insurance Agency, Moorhead. Northwestern State Bank of Euland, Dilworth and Glendon. Town and Country Oil, Moorhead, Glendon, Holly. The High Ho Cafe, Dilworth. Annie and Ginny's Garden Center, Glendon. And Hillishog Mono High Incorporated Fascinated Sugar Beet Seed, Glendon. Congratulations to the Dilworth Glendon Felton Rebels, a team to be proud of. Hi, Brad Rivers here at Hall GMC, where the big one is in full swing. The big one is Hall GMC's largest used car and truck sale ever. Every used car and truck is rock bottom price, starting as low as $19.95. Hall GMC also has easy finance terms, with rates as low as 8.5%. Plus, stop out and register to win this 1996 Sonoma pickup. And with the purchase of any new Sonoma or Jimmy, receive $250 of Amico gasoline absolutely free. One stop, one price, one huge used car and truck sale at Hall GMC Fargo. Thinking about a student loan? Then you've got questions. How do I qualify? Where do I begin? How much can I borrow? Need answers? Call the Norwest Student Loan Center. We know the student loan business and we've got the information you're looking for. Just call us toll free. We'll give you the answers you need to any kind of question. Okay, okay. Daytona Beach or South Padre? Well, almost any question. Norwest Student Loan Center. We'll get you the answers. 23 remaining. Ed Schultz along with Denny Anderson and Dana Mock. Well, Denny, you were in coaching for some 30 years, and this was, I believe, your first year out of it, was it not? Right. How tough was it? Well, you miss the games, there's no doubt about it, but you know, there's time for young guys to come in and, and do it. And you know, we're seeing a couple of young guys tonight uh, traveling a road. You've been down so many times before, and I think we've seen some very intelligent substitutions tonight. You know, you got to really pay attention to how many fouls your key players have and settle the team down. And I always have liked to use the term in sports, you got to, as a coach, get a team to recognize the moment. Exactly. That's exactly right, Ed. You know that as a quarterback. Well, recognize the moment. That's I mean, right. it's a lot easier on first down. But, you know, you got to recognize the moment. I think in the flow of a game, a game is a is a story to be told. And, and how can you fit into this thing? And what's important and what isn't to what has happened to this point in time in the game? Every one of these coaches have played so much basketball and been around basketball and coached basketball and whatnot. So they, they pick that up, and that's, a, that's an instinct. And we're seeing a very aggressive team on both sides of the court, and that's going to be a blocking foul on Mike Olson of Hawley. So there is still plenty of time for the Nuggets, but here's the quickness by Robbie Flint. He is so aggressive, handles the ball so well. And he's got two years left. Great instinct. But what great experience for him to be in a tournament like this on the tube as a sophomore and being the guy to run the show. Right, and the kid with the ball now, out there, Ockrey, same thing with him. Peterson going for the steal that time. Uh, Holly can't uh, lose her poise because uh, there's a young Ockrey kid, and he's been knocking down the threes tonight. He's an excellent player. I remember when we played at Glendon one night, after the game, the other kid was a sixth grader just pumping those threes, and he was drilling them. So he, he loves the game, and he's, uh, he spent his time with the game, and he deserves everything he gets. Flint, he uses the back of the iron and down. He's 2 of 5 at the line tonight. And DGF works it up again to a 13-point advantage with 4.43 remaining, and Flint misses the second one. And here comes Hawley. The window of opportunity is starting to close on the Nuggets. They've got to start hitting some shots and taking care of the ball, and they're lucky to keep that one. Yeah, they've forced the last couple, three times, and uh, that's not going to get it done. You've got to be patient right now because there's a lot of game left. Mike Olson now on the baseline, going to put it in for the Nuggets. Into the corner, Johnson. To Peterson, and now this is going to be YB, and he throws it away on the drive. And give credit to DGF in the paint. They are clawing the belly. Excellent defense. Quick hands. And Norton on the offensive.
offensive foul, and that is going to be four on Norton. And that's a big four with 4.15 remaining because now let's see if Steve Pashy comes back on the offensive end and works on him going to the iron. I don't think he's going to get a chance. Okay. I think Norton's out of there in a hurry. Norton's so. going to be out probably until the last two minutes, and we touched on substitutions a moment ago. There's a big one again. Coach Molsky jumped at that right away. You get your fourth foul, better go. And you got Emil and Carview off the bench that have done a good job tonight for the Rebels. 13-point lead. Both 13. teams are really hustling. Johnson holds it. Now near side is going to be Travis Olson. Peterson. A rare offensive board for the Nuggets. Peterson again. Down low, Johnson double teamed and loses it. Boy, the turnover column is getting pretty thick for Hawley tonight. And there's a foul, and that is going to be on Travis Olson. Well, again... DGF collapsing in there when the ball went in the hole, so he just didn't have any room to do anything. The guy from behind tied him up and got the ball away. Michael Bust. Eric at the line tonight. Well, we talked to Steve Molstry before the game, and he thought the keys to beating Hawley stopped the three. Free throw, no good the three no easy buckets on transition and they've pretty much done that look how quickly they got back on defense right there exactly put back inside again will go by Travis Olson and as we spoke of the bench strength Todd Emmel with the rebound that's going to be a foul on Peterson So with 3.22 remaining, a 13-point advantage for DGF. And back to the line goes Ryan Ockery, who's got three three-pointers to his credit tonight, and a two-pointer. And this is his first free throw. That one's short. And Hawley comes away with this one. Somebody's got to hit a shot, and that one's going to go. And a nice move inside by Travis Olson. Hawley uses a timeout with 3.09 remaining. They cut it to 11. You're watching Minnesota Basketball on DAY. Stay with us. self-contained steel buildings complete with overhead door and self-supporting floor. These portable units come in a variety of colors and sizes, perfect for cars, boats, small tractors, garden equipment, or other storable items. For farm, home, or business, get a mobile modular mini storage building from your local Senex in Dilworth, Moorhead, or West Fargo. On the trap, okay? Don't break the window. Good solid pitch. Anticipate the next passing Offensive end now, okay? Look to continue to take the ball to the back. You get an open three, that's fine, go ahead and take that. But we want to see the catch and the scores with the clock stop, all right? Stay aggressive. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us go let well, I don't know. I mean, know. can you work on that as a coach? I, I think it's instinct again, you know, but uh, you probably spend more nights not sleeping when you get older, you know, so you, you probably do do a little more talking. I was impressed right there with Pashy, though. Steve in the huddle there. They're going to go uh, once they, once they, uh, they're going to go into a trap here, and uh, he's talking about getting a good pinch. Don't give up the layup. It's hard to get through all the things that are in your mind in the little bit of time you have in that huddle. Lockery will put it in play. Flint. DGF inside the three-minute mark. They lead it by 11. Still time for...
for the Nuggets, but that's going to be a foul on Olsen. Well, I read a coaching book one time that said, keep it short, keep it sweet, and to the point. Exactly. That's exactly right. Holly is 20 for 52, as you can see there. And DGF hasn't wasted very many. 26 for 40. Flint again. That one won't go, and he's that now 20. two of seven at the line tonight. So the Rebels have missed their share of free throws as well. You gotta make free throws, but that 26 of 40 is gonna win a lot of tournament games. It sure is, and that kind of sets a tone for them to come back with some confidence tomorrow night. Exactly. They can hang on here, which uh, it looks good for them because they're playing that solid defense. Inside, and Lesko clears it away. And that shooting percentage stays pretty slim for Hawley, and look at Flint. Inside, Lesko knocked away a hustling Nugget what? basketball team, but what time. a bunch of hustle you on betcha. Sheridan Johnson. I think he sprained his ankle doing it, too. What a hustle move. See, Ed, I, I really believe uh, they could change the name of basketball to hustle. Because with hustle, you're going to win. It's just, you have to have it. These kids, both teams, have just laid everything out here. I know the ball hasn't gone in as well for Holly tonight, but by golly, they have played hard. Tribute to their coaches and to them. Flint, you know what, Dana? I think Flint's probably used to one of those buckets off the barn. It's got a little bit more give to it. <laughs> the Dilworth Water Tower, I think. There you go. 40-7 is the count, and Olsen on the drive, and Flint gets it off to Ockrey against pressure. The Nuggets are trying everything. This is Norton back in the game. We're inside the two-minute mark. Let's go back to Norton, and DGF is reeling into victory right now. They're feeling good about what's happening. It's going to take a near miracle for the Nuggets. you look at the shooting percentage of the Rebels and what Steve Moultrie's done with his team, this will be six out of seven in the win column off a good playoff performance with a couple of youngsters. What does this do to tomorrow night's game against a heavily favored Pelican Rapids team? Hey, if they uh, depend or on crazy, or you know crazy, I mean? we better say. But I'll tell you, if they can keep this type of basketball up, they've got a real good shot at the championship. They are playing tremendous basketball. Norton comes off to Martadam, and here comes Mike Olson. He's got to cast the three, and everything's coming to the Rebels here in the second half. Turnovers, rebounds. There's a good example of some fine fundamental basketball. Ockrey stuck there with Olson on the three, pinned him out, and got the rebound. These kids, uh, these kids do some real nice things. Uh, subtly, they're, they're an excellent basketball team. Uh, you, if you put them up, uh, you know they're not six foot four. They're not, uh, uh, you know, they're they're standing up five seven and five eight. These two sophomore kids, but boy, do they play some nice basketball. Move without the ball, play good defense, good passers, and good shooters. Robbie Flynn. Their inside game has been tremendous. Norton and uh, Lesko. Flint with the free throw puts him up by 15. The long three by Peterson won't go. The nice putback inside won't go that time either by Martadam. And it just won't fall tonight for the Nuggets. Once the lid goes on, it really gets to be tough. Well, I'll tell you, whoever gets DGF tomorrow night better get off to a good start because they are playing with a lot of confidence and they're playing with uh, and they've a got, lot of hustle. They've got a big guy. Yeah, like anytime you got a big guy, you know. Exactly. He's a 6'4", long arm, big jumper. And as we saw at the beginning of the game, they went to him and they got their lead and then they could do their other things. Let's 
Tedesco with 20 points tonight. And Hawley, you know, you're looking at a team that's a little cold. But they're a little young, too. They only start one senior, Mike Olson, actually. And they start two sophomores over here at DGF. They're going to be bumping heads again. DGF has two seniors in Norton and Lesko and two sophomores in Ockley and Flint. So these, both these teams are very young. Matt Lesko sits down with 21 points with a minute 14 remaining and a 16-point lead. These two teams played close and split during the regular season. Long three. Again, it won't go for Johnson. Into the corner. YB. And he'll cast the three. And a foul again on the inbound. I was talking to Coach Molstry and Coach, Coach Passion before the game, and they were saying how a good friends these kids are. They're neighbors, and they're good friends, and uh, very competitive. And you, as this game went, you could see. I mean, they've everybody given all they had all the time. And that's nice to see. That's what athletics should be all about. Peterson's going to come back in for the Nuggets. As Hardadam sits down. 13-point lead now for the Holy Nuggets. And Norton, who came in tonight on fire early, he had eight of the first 12 points for DGF and jump-started this offense to a seven-point lead within the first three minutes of the game. And that really kind of set the tone, and Hawley has never led since that early in the game. The senior kid with all the hustle has been doing it all year for him. He's a great player. And Norton leaves with 18 points. So with less than a minute remaining, the Nuggets will try to get something going here, and that one won't fall by Peterson. And here comes Flint for DGF. The no-look pass. What a the pass. The reverse layup won't go. Peterson again, and he's fouled. He'll shoot three. Flint and Peterson have had quite the battle going to the backcourt tonight. And Flint's helping him up off the floor. Two great players. Steve Pashy was saying that uh, the Ockrey kid, he had to kick him out of the Holly gym all summer, this summer. The kids were over there shooting baskets. John Miller checks in for the and he didn't DGF kick him Rebels. I want to I want to get that straight. He, he, it was late at night when he had to kick him out of the gym. It wasn't during the day. I mean, he, that's the type of coach Coach Pash he is. He doesn't care who you are. You can come to his place and Ryan, buckets. Ryan Welch is in for DGF, and Steve Pashy is unloading his bench. Adam Grove. in right now. You know, a lot of people don't understand this, but to be a part of a team is a great thing. Jeremiah Christensen checks in for the Holy Nuggets. You don't have to be a star, to be, but to be a part of a team is, is a great is a great thing. You learn so many things. And John Miller. And he's hustling. And he calls time out. What hustle. He went flying after the ball, and I don't know if... Uh, Dana, I think he took a strawberry. I think he took a strawberry on that one. He'll have the VCR rolling, though. There'll be a great tape room in the future. You betcha. All he gets it now. And the Nuggets with 25 seconds left, trying to get something going here.
Well, it was 16 points a minute and a half ago. There's a timeout on the floor, and Steve Molster's not going to let this get away. He called timeout. We'll do the same. The Rebels lead it, and we'll be back. Pelican Valley Health Center, caring for your family, generation after generation. Dedicated to providing professional, convenient medical care. Located overlooking the beautiful Pelican River in the Pelican Rapids Lake area. When it comes to custom design, custom built buildings that fit almost any customer's needs, nobody beats Fultz Buildings. Just as our customers. Clint Kanzemius says, the building looks great. I'm very pleased with the quality and workmanship. And Ron and Linda Lasky are very impressed. Superior construction, quality materials, and excellent workmanship. We built a reputation for quality backed by a warranty second to none, and we'll build year-round. Call Fultz Buildings at 1-800-255-9981 for a free estimate. Serving Minnesota and the Dakotas. State Bank of Hawley is proud of the Hawley Nuggets and happy to be a part of this year's action. It's been a great year for Hawley. The Merit Care Clinic in Hawley is here for you with the best in medical care. Merit Care Clinic, Hawley, helping you stay healthy. And remember Sturdivant Auto Parts in Hawley, where you get quality auto parts at lower prices. Sturdivant Auto Parts is happy to be a part of this Hawley Nuggets tournament game. A super team from a super town. Now that sea has become the best-selling boat in the world, we felt it was time to acknowledge those who inspired us. Okay, boys, take a bow. Another farmer-owned co-op on the way. Details at 10. You didn't miss anything, folks. A free throw by Riddle is no good. And DGF getting the ball inbounds and Going to the free throw line now is going to be Rich Myers, the senior center, as he's fouled on the inbound play. So it was a tough decision for Steve Pashy whether he's going to put his players back in or not. He said, holy smoke, look at this. What do we, I mean, hey, wait, get in there. Well, I'm laughing a little bit. He's scratching his head over there, you know, and Steve's such a nice guy that he doesn't, you know, but, but he's saying, hey, wait a minute, we still got a chance here. Eight points with 10 seconds. This is the first free throw. 64-56, eight-point lead with seven seconds remaining. Rebels out in front. And it's going to go to the Rebels off the, the ball going off the hands of Martadam. I think that's the biggest thing a coach can do, uh, Ed, is try to give your kids a chance to win. That's, that's about all you can ask. You know, it's the kids' game. It's not the coach's game, it's the kids' game. And the big kid, Myers, on the inbound. And that's going to do it. DGF is going to the District 23A championship game tomorrow night. Bigger than them. We knew we could work it inside and 
That's what we did tonight. At one point, you guys were three games under 500 until you made the run into the postseason. What's turned it around for DGL? Uh, the biggest key is defense. We came and we started playing well as a team, and we started playing a lot of defense. And was that the ticket in the second half? Because I know in the first half, Steve was stressing defense in those huddles. Yeah, yeah. Defense still turns into offense, like he says. Matt, congratulations. Good luck tomorrow Thanks. night. Robbie Flint, did you think a couple of months ago, playing on the B squad, that you'd play a factor in a game like this? Yeah, I mean, uh, what, my shots weren't falling like they usually are, but uh, I just picked up my uh, my defense and turned it around and got some assists. What did the coach tell you? The key matchups in that in that Holly game and, and the reason you guys came out successful tonight. Why? Uh, we had to stop by Sheridan Johnson and uh, their old tight shooting. So just matched up with a man to man instead of zone and played good defense on him, didn't let him hit the threes. You guys have now won six of seven. What do you think about this team's chances, not only tomorrow night, but who knows, maybe in the region? Hey, we have nothing to lose. No one thinks we're going to win, so we might as well go out and try hardest and play, play tough. Bob, nice game tonight. Sean Norton, 18 points for the senior. This is the way to go out, isn't it, as a senior? It's been great. Uh, it's an unbelievable run. I couldn't have planned it better myself. Did you find yourself just kind of in a zone in the first half because everything you threw up was kind of going in? Sometimes it happens that way. I don't know. Today, tonight was my night. You guys kind of had a uh, size advantage inside against the Nuggets. Did you want to exploit that? Did you think you could get inside and score against them? Yeah, we talked about it all week in practice and it worked. What do you think about tomorrow night? Ready to play another game and, and against whom? I'm pumped and I don't care who it is. John, congratulations. Thanks. Dana Mock at courtside with the winners and Sean Norton with 18 and Matt Lesko with 21 as the Dilworth, Glendon, Felton, Rebels, they are headed to the District 23A championship game tomorrow night as you see the Frazy Hornets coming out on the court. They're getting ready to take on the favorite here tonight in our second game, the Pelican Rapids Vikings. Stay with us. Our Minnesota basketball continues. 